Uh, all right, let's go talk to. Uh, we can do. We, well, I figure we'll do Loren last. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, right. let's let's do uh, frighteningly large eyes. We can take turns at voice acting our way through this. All right. God. How's Remus doing? What? Why do I care? Yeah, seriously. Think, I just met him too. Do you think all dwarves fucking know each other? He's doing fine. There ain't a reason for him not to be. He's over his lost cart, and he wants to help Loren out for sure. Excellent. By the way, I see you two hanging out a lot. Please make him leave me alone. Uh, we need an H. We need an HR fucking representative in this camp. Oh, I expect it's because we're both uh, dwarves and all that. I don't get to talk to a lot of them, honestly. <clears throat> oh, this is. I feel like that's the like. Ramus is the guy who has a crush on the player who plays Dora and is like, yeah, I'm a dwarf too. My character's a dwarf. We should hang out because we're dwarves. I got really high charisma. Yeah. I I I have like a like a like a like a nineteen. Um and I mean we just we just what what what's your character? I, I just hang out with them. Yeah, we've got a lot in common, because 'cause we're dwarves. Not many dwarves in Grimoire? Blast no! Ain't nobody uh, ain't nobody like anyone who ain't a uh, human in Grimoire. What the fuck? I don't know. People <laughs> She is deep rogue. People like him when they're just passing through, but not else. Oh. Oh, we we, we can we can we can joke with Dora. Dora's okay, good. Cool. I'm glad we're on Dora's the same page there. Cool. Yeah. No. Knock knock knock. Who's there? Beards. Beards who? Beards rubbing is the only dwarven song I know. I suspect they hate these fucking guys. Fucking Jesus Christ! I suspect they hate thieves too. I wouldn't know nothing about that. Everyone likes me anyway. Money? Tor laughed. Yep, money. <laughs> Lots of it. It's that that's what I should have gone with. I almost did. I was like, knock knock. Who's there? Beards. Beard two. Money. <laughs> <laughs> it can still funnier it's... than the joke we actually told. Y yeah. Alright, let's yeah. go talk to Ramus. So, does your ex have a name? Hell yeah, it that does. is a Dwarfy pickup line if I've ever heard right? one. My ex has a first name. It's O S C A R. Why do folks keep asking me that? Blaster thing ain't got a name. It's a hunk of metal. You want to see a weapon with a name, son? You best look to my hammer. <laughs> These are not the hammer. Uh, the hammer is my abs. <clears throat> Yeah, he seems good natured. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can joke around with him. Yeah. Yeah. Knock knock. Who's there? I'd like to. I'd like to who? I'd like to tap that axe. <laughs> my sword's named. My sword's named Chester. <laughs> Fucking cannon. From <laughs> now on. <laughs> Chester Cuttington. 100% canon. I get why folks name him. Do you, you think I should? Pah. He's not even whole. The gem here fell out a long time ago. If I was going to get all mushy over a weapon, it should be the best blasted goddamn weapon there ever was. Then we'll save the naming process for when you find an axe you can actually respect. Hey man, I totally respect axes. That... All my axes, I respect them. That was, that was actually of, a dick joke, one, but one of my axes that I was... That shit was crazy. I'm really into the bows on your mustache, is all I'm saying, Ramos. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's go talk, talk to the asshole in chief. <laughs> yes, the, the AIC, of course. <laughs> Saren. Yes, mistress. This blade is dull, and I need you to sharpen it. Speaking of dull, I thought you, I thought you and this blade would like to hang out a bit. Uh, she held out the ember blade, and his jaw dropped. 
it's it's too distracting for me to do it myself. That's legit. Like imagine like it's, it's really hard to hone an edge on a glowing sword. Yeah, right. Like like like, like every time you pick up the sword, there's there's like the light and the like the angelic choir. Oh, and like you're just you're just polishing it in camp. <clears throat> fucking Ramus across the way from inside of Sam's like, can you fucking keep it down? Dwarf is trying to get some fucking sleep. That's gonna be a thing at some point in our in our D and D games. It's like, it's magic weapon annoyance. Yeah, it's just like I sharpen my sword. Oh, and then it stops again. Well, like, yeah, because you because then... you, you complete the like the like stroke, and then you like go to the top again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just please take this from me. I never thought about, like, actually trying to work on a glowing sword. Because I, like, I work on glowing metal. I do blacksmithing. But it's really hard to see the edge. Like, yeah. It, yeah, no. Real thing. Yeah. Yeah. She was Magic referencing how the sword glowed at her touch. Yes, of course. I will tend to it for you. It would be the greatest honor to service this weapon. It's just a sword like any <clears throat> other. I really it was hope. that was innuendo. I'll I'll go sharpen your sword. I really this. hope this is an intelligent sword. <laughs> I really hope we meet an intelligent sword. You still do not believe in the history of this sword or the other holy relics. It glows. So do fireflies. <laughs> <laughs> Called shot. Many things glow in this world. A knife fly glows, but it isn't a divine intervention. She told the joke. Let's joke back. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? I betcha. I betcha who? I betcha it's cold in this camp with no pants on. <laughs> I'm not sure. Those glowy bugs are <laughs> very <laughs> suspicious if you ask me. Global domination, probably. <laughs> That's that's the closest thing to equip this, this guy's. That's the closest him. thing to equip this guy's come for like come out with, and it still sounds like a space alien trying to interact with people. It's like not night flies glow, but it's not like they're magic or anything. <laughs> yes, they are definitely not magic, but sometimes I am jokingly suspicious. Ah. Loren crossed her arms. Look, they say this glows for special people. And I fully believe you're special. Why don't you? Because you're a slave, and all that you've ever been taught in your life is how to fucking hit on Amazons. It is literally a profession. <laughs> I'm the heir to the Amazon throne. I have many Not qualifications. Not anymore. You abdicated. I believe we established this in the opening. It's true. <laughs> I have many qualifications that make me worthy, but even if the gods themselves wish to bind this sword to me, I do not care. <clears throat> not a tool to be used. Instead, this sword is my tool. Like you. You fucking tool. We will leave it at that. What's wrong, TJ? What's wrong with my knock-knock jokes? <laughs> Smash cut to next week when it's non-stop knock-knock jokes. It's just me. It's just me and whatever we've got on the room cam. There we go. Look at that. And knock-knock jokes. All right, so we've talked to everybody at camp. Um, do we have any romance points? No, like, like no, we, we haven't even entered the romance mini gaming yet. I know. I don't it's... think we've missed anything. All either. right. Okay. So, so, where are we going? I get, um, we can go to the swamp now. Well, what else? Where else can we go? Change the cloud cover. Right. No, we determined that that Karen had been seen in the swamps. Okay. The swamps are our next <clears> stop. All right. Yeah, I'll also point out that we're, only, we're not even in Chapter 2. Uh, do we want to hit Grimoire and change up our party? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! What? <laughs> we didn't move! All right, yeah, let, let's murder them all and get some experience. All right. Um. Um. Oh, Saren, all right. Oh, yeah, you were on the front row, too. Yeah, because uh, uh, he's not that archery. 
Yeah, well. 12 to 13, 10 to 11, yeah. Chester Cuttington, go to town. Uh, we're gonna bot that wizard, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, we're going to make that wizard stop being a thing. Yeah, yep. seems decent. Yep. Um. All right, now what do we have here? We can't make the kill with right. uh, the staff, but we can with the meteor swarm. And They're resistant to earth damage, or we can paralyze. Uh, when does he go? Um, after Draco and Ramus. Okay, so wanna are they all resistant to meteor swarm? Uh, I believe yes. Well, let's find out. Yeah, yeah, they're resistant to Earth. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, but we can get the kill with the fireball in the back row with uh, Draco and probably kill both of them. So do we maybe want to soften up this scout instead? Yeah, sure. Alright. Draco, fireball... Or Blizzard, I guess? Uh, yeah, that's gonna kill them really well. And here, we can get the, the Wide Slash, or we can get the single one. Nah, the Wide Slash seems yeah. good. Because I think we're gonna get all our mana points back immediately, I think so, so there's too. no reason to hold back. All right. Is our sword really better than our bow? Yeah. Just by a little bit. It's embarrassing. Um, um. No, I don't really care about that. Let's just go for the. Yeah, because our bow does ten to eleven. What does our other bow do? Our aim shot uh, has a delay of sixteen. Oh right. And does 22, 25. Our sword delay is only 6. Okay, yeah. Chop him up. And then, why is anybody else even here? Uh, oh, because I clicked on the wrong guy. That's why. Uh, no, we level up. Wow. Change party setup. Alright. Alright, so... We can, yeah, do like this. Yeah, seems fine. And that gets a, a, a polymer shazzle out of our. Uh... Yeah, I mean he's useful. Yeah, that's my. But I my, just like him. My problem, my yeah, and then, then, then that's my problem too. Is like, because like <clears throat> I think tactically maybe we're better off getting rid of like Ramus and keeping. A poem show like we we have our front line is is pretty strong. Well, I mean we only got to get 120 hit points. We're pretty flimsy. Yeah, but I mean he's the weak the weakest link in our front line. He's our weakest link in our party. Well, I mean, um, but he's also our healer. Yeah, like, and he has to be in the party anyway. Yeah, um, but Apollo Michelle's attacks are actually like very strong. It's just that we don't like it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a good enough reason to make him go away. Fair. Like, this is a visual novel. Oh, I know. I assume that he'll still be in scenes all the time. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, all right. We'll put Ramus in the front. Uh, not in front. We've, we've got a rule about right, separating Right, right. Of course. Of course. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with that particular HR problem. Yeah, no. We, uh, I feel like Loren will not put up with any of that shit uh, if she's nice and close, too. All right. To the Unforgiving Swamps. Good grief, who names these places? 12 year olds. Water, mud, slime, fog. This swamp has it all. Draco sloshed around in the swamp with surprising ease. Saren raised an eyebrow. What? You enjoy the swamps? You ever make mud pies when you were a kid? 
Let's just say, not exactly. I literally wasn't. I, I literally grew up in. See, yeah, I told like, you, man. Careful! I send lizard men nearby. I still, thank I still, you. I still, sign posting DM. <laughs> I mean, you could like signpost in like a way that the environment and the culture implies that there might be lizard men, rather than just having your player <laughs> insert author insert character scream that. It, fuck you, lizard men. They're notoriously dangerous creatures! Their bodies have heightened self-regenerative powers. Aim for their vital spots. What the fuck do we do with any other person? <laughs> it's like, listen, pretty much everything's been vital to fire, right? <laughs> and, and when I'm fighting, have you noticed me stabbing them in, like, the ankle? I just aim for the nameplate. It's pretty much the only thing I can aim for. <clears throat> Get ready to fight. Seems great. Alright. So they regenerate. Uh, yep. Which means, shockingly, we should focus fire on them and make sure that Also, they they're weak to fire. Goodbye, lizard men. <laughs> It's been fun. Oh yeah, they don't even get to go before Draco. Why are the rest of us bothering? All right, let's just. All right, let's. Uh, let's just. Uh, yeah, yeah, from the yeah. back row, the sword's much worse. Okay. And the that's good to know. So we'll get that. Uh, let's spread this around a bit so we can hopefully get a kill. Yeah. Or get the everybody kill. Yeah. All right. Now. All right. Oh, not quite. Pretty close. Oh, well, we get one of them. All right, buddy. Notice them regenerating much. They do not appear to be. We should fall back to camp and get better equipment. Oh, should we? Should we fall back to camp and get better equipment? Thank you, Agreed, Simon. Agreed, but we must not delay much longer. What? Just unforgivable. Oh, maybe maybe they assumed we did poorly and, and were worried that we should not advance because that was such a taxing fight. The journey, <clears throat> their journey through the unforgiving swamps had been a perilous one. The monsters that lurked in its outskirts made them fear what it would hold in its depths. Amukiki proved his oath true and protected Loren valiantly and with ease. Apollo Michaud did not seem surprised by his abilities, but the rest of the party was in awe. Of it. This is a game. <laughs> Even Loren started to take notice of his strength. It was only Saren who pouted whenever he received praise. It should not have been so easy for a man to earn Loren's favor when he was still struggling for any recognition at all. After wading through waist-deep swamp water, neck-deep for Dora and Ramus, they spotted what looked like a hut. The wood was rotted, but it was somehow still standing. Is that a house? Who lives in a swamp? Well, hell, it's about time we sell some dry land. I need to get out of this sludge. They clambered onto the island and recollected themselves, which is not how that word <laughs> works <laughs> at all. Uh, Ramus emptied the swamp water from his boots. A native to the swamps. It could belong to the lizard man. We get it. You're racist against everyone. <laughs> Tread carefully. I don't know. This house looks too awful, even for them. Jesus Christ, Dora, you're spending too much time with the wizard. They approached <clears> the front door cautiously. Hello, is anyone in there? There was only silence. Oh, that's not a suspicious thing to have on your floor. <laughs> I ran open the door and the party filed in. As, the, as if through magic, the deteriorating exterior held a lavish interior. That's too many ears for your sentence. The party was stunned by how they had almost been tricked into passing it by. Though the hut was empty, it looked like someone had been there recently. Uh, my, I'm going to put odds on um, uh, Flower Bikini. Um, 
I'm hit and miss because this looks very with that like it, it looks That's, witchy, yeah, but yeah, it looks but like it doesn't look but, but like it's not nature witchy. I like I I true, would lean the true. other way. Oh to yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady. Lulu from from yeah, Final Fantasy Ten. Lulu Corset Lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking scorpion! I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> Also, that's some sweet scorpion art. Yeah, that's solid. I am adequately distressed by that scorpion. Out of the shadows sprang a giant scorpion with its tail flailing. Kill it, kill it with fire! <laughs> Boss fight! <clears throat> oh. Giant scorpion! Sure. Yeah, yeah. we're good. Laura and the Amazon versus Giant Scorpion. Fight. Uh, Saren, does Saren have any, like, party powers? Um, heal. He's got heals and reses. That's it. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't have any like party buffs. All right. So, uh, yeah. Shoot. Ooh, disappointing. Uh, it is resistant to fire, but weak to water. So the ice spells that we have are gonna be pretty nice. She doesn't have any super cool things either. No. Camouflage. Oh. And Increase my defense. Great. Ooh, wow. Ooh, what is, what is that status? That is... Weakened. weakened. Ooh. Attack value is reduced by 25%. Alright. So, what is, what's her... Use her cool thing. What's her cool thing? Rally. Yes, that is excellent. Um. Uh, yes. yes. Use this his is gonna, cool thing. This is gonna make short work of this scorpion. Ah, uh, it stills like a few turns of slapping that guy around. He's got a lot of hit points. Yeah, but uh, now we're gonna shield wall. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ramus is going to. No, no, you're just gonna. No. Yeah, smack it. And uh, nah, I don't, I suspect it's, actually I bet it's immune to fear, I think that's probably what that icon is over there. I bet that it is. Paralyzed. Okay, so we could scare it, great, but no, it's only one thing. Uh, what's the... Oh, it's a knockback thing. Oh, th does that, is that not useful? Uh, that's a good question, I'm not actually sure. I think it probably slows it down. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, that's alright. We have heals. Uh, do we wanna... Let's get our shield wall up again. Oh, did is it down? No, it's still it will, up. It will be momentarily. Oh, it's three rounds. Uh, he's got another... He's got another turn before he's, it drops. He, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Alright, so this thing is... 40% chance to confuse. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Target's magic value is reduced by 25%. Alright, well that's useless, but good to know what it does. <laughs> yeah, at least we know. <clears throat> Alright, well. The uh, only member, party member who's actually participating. Uh, see, that's pretty common. The others just soak up hits while we wait for uh, Draco to do something useful. If you double click, it just does the thing you did last time. Oh, except we wanted to shield the ball. Oh, uh, that's alright. Yeah, we'll live. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna attack, right? It's staggered and frozen. And we don't care about buffing our party again? Uh, I don't think so. No. No, we're not we're not actually in any danger of dying. He's not doing enough damage to actually threaten us. Uh I am gonna heal Ramus though. Uh, on our next opportunity. We've actually used a heal! Yeah, that was a good call. All right, now let's get that shield wall. And our rally. Oh, nice. And that's the end of that. Bam! <clears throat> Ray. Oh, bye, Scorpionock. Uh... Yep. I don't know why we wouldn't. Yay, we have potions. Dora's almost up. 
Scorpion screamed, which actually is the most unsettling part about that whole encounter. I had scuttled back into the darkness. Loren held up her hand to warn the party not to pursue it. No! Fucking pursue it! Uh, well, maybe she's got good reasons. The creature's whimpering morphed into sounds that a human would make. It is... It, okay, so yeah, it's Fern Bikini. Roll it! Hold! I think we might have a shapeshifter in our hands in the rest of We get it. Obviously... You're, you're, you're racist against shapeshifters, too. Which, I will confess, is fucking amazing. No, nope, no, nope. no, I was right, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Morrigan! It's Morrigan! Yes, oh. of course, of course. God, I I will confess that through the entirety of Dragon Age 1, I never ever turned Morrigan into another shape. Because why would I w want her to not shoot bolts and cast spells? I got fires for that. A woman stepped out of the darkness, glowering at the party. It was clear from her condition that she was the that she was the scorpion they had just fought. Loren brandished a sword to warn her not to try anything again. A shapeshifter and into a scorpion? Those are ugly and mean. Oh, um. All right, I guess this one's my turn. Is it? I, I think I got one. I think I got you one. You got you got one for yeah. this. All right. I I like mm. like. Swamp Lady, um, I mean, obviously can't have a Dwarven accent, uh, although it's tempting. Had I, had I known the full scope of this, I might have adjusted, um, but, no. Scorpions are misunderstood. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And why did you attack us? Because I would rather die than fall into the hands of the Empire. I will not rot away in jail for simply being what I am. Pointed look at racist grandpa. <laughs> and as if on cue, it is the laws of the land. If you use dark magic, you must be locked away. Stand down, mage. You're under my leadership, not your empire's banner. I have no allegiance to anyone who seeks to hurt you. I'm Princess Loren of the Amazons, and I am looking for my mother for the tenth fucking time. I know she was brought into this forest by a man, which is ultra weird, and I do not know where. You're from here. Can't you help us? The dark witch twisted <clears throat> her mouth as she examined the party members one by one. She walked up in front of Loren and stared her dead in the eyes. Loren felt a deep shiver, but held her ground and did not waver. What are you doing? An aura that had started to appear faded quickly away. Well, I'm not lying. Of course I'm not. Did, did you just use magic on me? I have to make sure you went lying filth. Turns out you're not. Well, I'm done. He's fine. Don't ever use magic on me again. You will find your head separated from your body. The dark witch blinked. Don't worry. That's usually how she befriends people. Wait. You can read people's minds? I can't tell who you're asking. Parts of dark magic. He's very good. <laughs> it's the magic of death. That is another stage of being. When people run like he's bad. He's not bad. He's only gang. <laughs> Why are you bad? <laughs> yes, this is this is the character who's like. Yeah, so I'm a nightma necromancer, but necromancers are mostly just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's you. It's the, the 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 new player who joins the party, and they're like, "Wait, you're a necromancer? It's only game. What is the problem?" <laughs> Being the this <is> quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! She waved her hand, and a skeleton of a jackalope on her table started to move. It hopped off the furniture and ran around on the floor. Dora and Draco screeched when it hopped around their feet. The dead should rest, not dance a goddamn merry jig whenever you want. The skeleton suddenly stopped with a quick gesture from the shapeshifter. I have no opinions on your magic. I only need to save my mother. Can you help me find her? I would reward you. You can have the wizard. <clears throat> oh god, oh god, I know why we need the sword and the wizard and Shaw. It's because this is the character, because Loren is the character who wrote a 10 page backstory that has nothing to do with the campaign. Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah. And the DM is constantly trying to give the other characters some focus and have a plot that isn't just, my mother is missing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> keep your... Uh, don't need it. But seems fun. I hope you find your mother, but I only want peace and quiet. And too many people walk around swamps like they've been renamed for giving swamps of roses. <laughs> You'll help? Really? Yes, really. Unlike filth, I don't lie for recreation. This voice is perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> the fact that she just calls people filth is perfect. Yes. Well, it's, you're basically a trash person. <laughs> What's your name, Dark Witch? We have not had a proper introduction. You know what? Dark Witch is fine. Just go with that. My name is Kambara. I do consider a good fight a standard greeting nowadays. I won't apologize for attacking you since you're literally in my house. Mmm. She threw a look over at Apollo Michaud. Almost looked like he was turning blue with disapproval, which is an expression I have never heard before. Ah, uh, but I'm delighted by everything that makes Apollo Michaud uncomfortable. Very well. <clears throat> Come, um, Chambara. You can help us investigate the terrain and look for tracks and... You have never no. seen my name written down. How are you... How are you picking up those syllables? That... The, the consonants at the beginning. It's very like, I understand you cannot say my name with accent, but... Like, you've not... It's... I... It's Kambara. It's like Kombucha, only different. <laughs> Kombucha is my sister. Yeah. <laughs> Kambara... is It's... It's full name you don't have. Fine, but... Why invent... Cha... Dude. Somewhere in the mountains of truth, a monk looks up and is like, Cha. Oh. I don't need to go anywhere. But you said that you'd help. Yeah. How will you help us then? Ah, potion tells me where people are. It's very good. <clears throat> Fine, make your potion, perform your ritual, whatever you need to do, just do it. Fetch quest first. <laughs> I need proper ingredients. I don't just stock up on useless potions, hoping strangers stumble through my door looking for lost mother. Of course, this couldn't be easy. Ah, shut up. Put abs away. Fetch quest now. Fine. What do you need? I need the lizard man too. He's very good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got plenty of those just lost in my armor. Not just any lizard man too. It's very important. Let me finish. Must be from large, dominant He-Man lizard. Cream of crop. He fed the most, is the strongest, so and you, you, you get it. You get it. Find big, hulking, alpha male lizard man. Only lizard man king will do. They never leave tribal grounds at Temple of Khuzulu nearby. Is it never to not be a trap, witch? I'm suspicious of you referring to lizards as having an alpha male. The entire concept is fallacious. It isn't even applied to wolves from where it was originated. Uh, sorry, why is everyone looking at me like that? Because you're being a beta. <laughs> Yeah, you got this far, I assume you handle extra lizard men. <laughs> <clears throat> if you die, my day is free. I don't care either way. <laughs> Amukiki stepped in front of a polymer show to keep him from binding the shapeshifter out of anger. We'll return soon. Get up, please. <laughs>